gut. The gut is important to cleanse every day, every day, every day. You must cleanse up the gut. Look after the gut. The gut is where everything has started, guys. Just like your kitchen where everything has started. You have to wash your plate when you eat. Yes. So we're going to show you exactly how to do this one tonight. And, you know, these recipe is some basic little recipe, guys. Basic, basic recipe. But they are um, very effective and very powerful. And they are so something which can help you at home. All right. We are doing high blood pressure tea every other night. All right. So we're going to show you how you can do this on an amazing, incredible recipe. It is a step step by step recipe but i'm going to tell you something 100 percent you guys gonna think of this recipe as it goes on from a day-to-day -day basic your gut is where everything has started with your eat the place the food go right there sit for a period of time before you go to the waste so we're going to show you how to do it so the first thing what you're going to need you need a bowl of water and Craig, big up yourself every time, Mr. President. We're going to put roughly about a teaspoon of baking soda into the water. We're going to get one lemon. Christy Williams, good morning. Good, good evening. Thank you so much for coming on the show. One lemon into the water. And we're also going to get some um, rosemary into the water. All right, and we're going to mix this together and to remove any pesticide or anything on these um, rose, rosemary right here. All right, so this is the first thing you want to do. But the thing is, people, a lot of people don't know, your gut is important just like a your house is important and your bed. So you have to sleep somewhere, guys. So you don't want to sleep on the floor. All right. So once you do this, what we're going to do, we're going to take with the lemon, take with this bowl. All right. And simply wash off the lemon, the lime. I'm giving you the basic recipe, but it's so effective. All right, Chef Art, what's going on? Thank you so much for coming on the show. All right, then what we're going to do, we're going to remove the, bless yourself, Esther Delicious, we're going to remove the juice from the lime. Just like this. So you can see, that's the first Earsism is in the building, man. Wagwan. And that, thank you so much. All right. So this is the first thing you want to do. And to make this beautiful drink. Is get these two things. These is very powerful. The acid from the lemon. A lot of people cannot manage it. But, um... It helps you with also with the kidney and the liver. Also, when you eat the liver and the kidney. Because remember, your liver is doing a lot of work, guys. All right. And your kidney is doing a lot of work. So we're going to have to take care of these things. And it is important to take care of them so let's get our eater on and tonight is going to be a simple recipe not too complicated all right anyway just remember to get yourself a copy of the brand new book from poverty to purpose chef ricardo secret recipe to success all right the book is available the 13th of May. It is my book anniversary. So we are asking you to support. 
Simit, big up yourself. Thank you so much. It's all good. Big up yourself. Don't worry yourself. We already see the, the, the message. All right. So what we're going to do, get a medium sized pot. All right. Medium sized pot, guys. And we're going to get one cups of hot water. Yes. All right. Okay. And we also need to get some clothes right here. About a few clothes into the water, just like this. Line is important. Okay, so this is it right here. So we're going to put this into the water. Ginger. So here it is. That's the ginger and it is fresh ginger. Come over here, straight into the water. All right, guys. Now, this is it, all right, now you see what we're going to do right here. Is turn it down on the top like this. I'll show you something. Going to do this. Look at this. I use my bucket of water. I do a thing like this. And I rinse it off again. All right. Just to remove anything from it, guys. Honestly. Because you have to be careful of dirt and all sort of things. So, right here, what you're going to do. We're going to break off these leaf of the stem. All right. And when you're breaking off it, it's supposed to feel like a glue on your finger. All right. So you can see what's going on right there. All right. You're using up a portion of rosemary, guys. Rosemary is not only if you put on the beef, uh, no, on the lamb. You also can make a cup of tea from it and, and a lot more things you can also do from rosemary. All right. Let's put this inside of it. Inside of it. Right there. All right. That looking fantastic and amazing. So we are making just a cup of tea. That's it. Now, every other night we are doing high blood pressure tea. 
all right so tomorrow night it's going to be high blood pressure night okay if you don't know if you're the first to come in on my life every other night we do high blood pressure tea this is also very good to help you with your blood sugar also all right the only thing i would say don't use any honey inside of it but if you are struggling with your blood sugar just avoid in the honey and also just drink it naturally if not what you can do instead of just don't add any sugar or sweetener or honey drink it naturally as it is now cloves is very can i see the fresh ginger i'm learning um long ago it is not fresh ginger my fresh ginger um here's my fresh ginger right over here <laughs> people when i'm using product all right it dry uh, four hours to go to get this okay look at this this is fresh ginger look at this anyone know anything about ginger can i bet you don't tell me where this ginger come from somebody tell me where this ginger come from let me see if you got sense or your brain is clicking. Can someone write in the description and say to me, yes, I know where this ginger come from. That eight hour flight to get this ginger or nine hour. Where this ginger came from. If no one can tell me, I'm going to have to close the life. I'll cut this one, make you not see what's going on. Where this ginger come from? Jamaica. Write it again, make a lot of people see what's going on. Can they not understand? Write it one more time. Put it again, make they see. Big and bold. Jamaica ginger. Fresh and nice in a London. Smell it, ginger. Smell it. Let me pick up the bigger piece. Smell this piece right here. Smell it. Just have a smell. That is from Jamaica. Jamaica ginger. Jamaica. That's what we use in the kitchen. That's the best in the world. All right. You know, when I was in the Philippines, I saw some good Jamaican ginger over there too. You know? Yeah, some good, proper Jamaican ginger was there over there in the Philippines. Look just like this. Is it this? This little piece is enough. And I'm going to do a little thing to show you. Because turn off this pot right here. We're going to turn it off. We're going to just grate it a little piece here. Every country have ginger. All right? But Jamaica have a different kind of ginger, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. cloves, ginger, and rosemary. Perfect. And lime. Christina, big up yourself, man. What's going on? 100% effective. Thank you so much. Just a little piece of a ginger extra night. Yeah. Perfect, guys. Here it is. Turn off this. Turn off this. Click off the eater. Plug it out. Yeah. Guys, the ginger, that ginger, is only two places I'm going to see this ginger. is Jamaica and in the Philippines. I'm going to see this ginger. And I know the reason why I can say it. Yeah. All right. Um, the pot is still on. Oh, and pot is off. Thank you so much, Chrissy. Yeah. This ginger is not from where you're thinking. It, this ginger is Jamaican ginger. All right? You can know Jamaican ginger. When you cut it, it have a different color. 
all right yeah jamaican ginger very powerful and very good 100 percent effective all right jamaican you can get jamaican ginger a lot of places in in the uk a lot where people don't understand is this is not um 1954 guys this is not 1936 when you're all like a baby this is not 1920 when you were a child this is 2020 24 guys you can get things every single way in a hurt and it's have jamaica brand on it this is not like um couple um 70, 95,000 years ago or 79,000 years ago. This is 2020, 24. A lot of people are doing the maths. Every day, a ship container come from Jamaica. A ship container go to Jamaica. Food is coming from Jamaica. Oh, we don't get so many things from Jamaica. You can get a lot of things from Jamaica. Queen, big up yourself. Oh, thank you so much. So Jamaica have a lot of things, guys. Jamaica have different taste of ginger. Oh, 100%. I know that. Jamaican ginger is totally different. Well, if you go to the supermarket and you don't, and you only can get the supermarket ginger, you still can buy it. It's coming from Uganda. Ginger is coming from Uganda, um, some part of Africa, um, some part in Europe. You got people in Europe plant ginger. I used to plant ginger in my back garden. So I know Esther Delicious plant ginger. Lots of people plant ginger in their back garden and bring it to the market. Just a little piece of a ginger like this can grow. You know, just a little piece of a ginger you can plant in your back garden and it's grow for summer. The Caribbean ginger is the best, guys. You can get ginger from Barbados, Trinidad, St. Lucia. All of these countries, their ginger is similar like Jamaican ginger. Very strong and very good. The, all of them is the same. It's just the European ginger, I think they may have it in a the water. They're chunky and they're big. But it's still ginger. You still can, you know what I mean? Um, or quick does it grow? Um, the ginger, it doesn't take long to grow. Probably take, you're going to have to ask Esther Delicious because Esther Delicious is probably a doctor for ginger and all of these things. Probably take about a, about a week or a couple of days, you will see it start to grow. Ginger is very easy to grow. And rosemary, fresh thyme, all of these things is very easy to grow at home if you have time to do it. But in England, you know, people is busy working nine till nine. So, you know. Can find it. Yeah, so um you you yeah, it will on my on my YouTube channel. Um ginger is very good for upset stomach. Um ginger is also very good if a person say a person went out, come back in. And you feel ill or feel sick and feel like you want to have a go. Then ginger is very good, especially if you get a nice little piece of a ginger like this. Cut up a couple of slices and put it into some hot water and drink it. This will help you to. Ginger can also help you to reduce pain and inflammation. This little piece of a ginger right here. That's why I never run out of ginger and turmeric because these things help you at home. All right? Because when. The British Prime Minister said, we're going to lock down the country for six weeks. Why know what you're going to do? You're going to have to use anything you have at home because you're feeling pain. You can't go to the pharmacy. The country is locked down. You can't call up a doctor. Who's going to see you? What are you going to do when the country is closed down? You have high blood pressure. You, you have pain in your back. You got pain in your neck. You got pain in your knee. You got your husband have a cold. Your daughter have a flu. Your son have a cold. What are you going to do? So guys, do no mats and, you know what I mean, get to yourself ginger, turmeric, lemon, and lime and have them in the fridge and keep them, freeze them up in your freezer. I don't keep ginger in my fridge. 
that's a red flag all right guys now put it in your fridge put it into a dry location all right room temperature good vibes All right, uh, as I was born in 1967. <laughs> you born in 1967. So what do you know about the ginger in 1967? Now Barbados got the best because we have grow our... Okay, wicked. Well, um, as I say, all of the Caribbean country do plant these things, ginger, fresh ingredients, so in the Caribbean, but I learned this also in the Philippine. When I went to the Philippine, they have an, an amazing ginger. I was talking about the ginger, the tiny ginger, very fresh and nice. But remember this, guys, in China, China also do fresh ingredients because China live longer than black people. China live for 250 years. Black people live for 65 or 70 years. Some very weird live for uh, what, 110 the least but chinese them live to our 150 250 year old so you're gonna have to do the maths right there why chinese live so long you're gonna somebody can tell me why why black people live to only 40 and they have high blood pressure you never see the chinese run to the doctor every minute for high blood pressure do no maths <laughs> every time they keep blaming the chinese them the chinese this the chinese that but what they don't understand Chinese live for 150 years with no illness and no sickness. More than all the queen Japan start to cry. But they live for 150 years. Black people live for only 40 years. High blood pressure, diabetic, start get sick. All sort of stuff. Chinese live for 250 years. No problem. Do no match. Stop blaming the Chinese and follow the Chinese metal. <laughs> That's all I can say. I don't have anything else to say. Right, that's all. I understand. But the Chinese um, eat fresh food. Chinese eat fresh food. The Chinese people have this thing wrong. Chinese plant fresh. You know, when they sit in the field and planting food, every country in the world plant fresh food is how we do it. Every single country. I'm not taking up for Chinese or anything, but I'm simply saying, why Chinese doesn't queue up in a London road for high blood pressure and diabetic and all of these things? Look good, people. When you go to the doctor in the morning, who line up in the queue? Black people is in the queue. Every time I go to the doctor, I never see Chinese. It's always black people. Long queue, long going out of upon London Road. It is black people. Do not match people. All right. Chinese live for 250 years. Black people live for 60 or 75 years because of cancer, diabetic, strokes, heart attack, high blood pressure. Do not match. Why it happening? Chinese live for 250 years. Someone tell me because I don't know. I don't know. So that's why that's the only thing I do. I do the maths and I look good. And this is what I find I found out. All right. So we need to start following them and find out what's going on. <laughs> the only problem is we're gonna go have a whole lot more people upon the planet. But I saw you go. Good vibes. Anyway, let's pour off the tea. <laughs> let's pour off the tea right here and see what's going on. Beautiful cup of tea, guys. Here it is. And that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, man. So, and this is it right here. We got some lemon juice. Yeah, I never said why we eat the most healthiest food. How comes we eat the most healthiest food? And by the time I reach 30, 35, we have to queue up in the queue in London Road. Long old queue. Go. I don't understand if the guys can see on London Road. There's a medic right up Medday Hospital. If you keep, one day I'm going to take the picture and show you who queue up in the queue at London Road. So how comes we eat the most healthiest food 
And as we reach 35, 45, 55, 65, we get sick, we get ill. We are run up and down in a hospital, back and forth. Pressure upon the doctor, pressure upon the nurses, them. Pressure upon the, um, what you call these people, the, oh, the, the carers. Why? And we eat the most healthy. We should be living like 900 years like David and Moses. <laughs> no, I understand. Yeah. Well, if we eat the, the most best food in the world, as what they said, the most expensive food, then we start need to live like Moses then, or like David, 900 years on the planet. Our eight, no, I think the, the, the Lord cut it down. So we can live to at least 350 years then. If we can't live to 350 years, then we're going to have to find a remedy for that. The remedy is to look after yourself and eating healthy at home. That's all I can say. All right. This is one of my best honey I like to use. All right. This one is a 40 grade plus. So, you know. Yeah, man. Put a little bit inside of it. Mix him up. This is, this is just a little ideas, guys. You know what I mean? It's nothing to... I'm just want... I want to find out if someone can tell me this. How comes Jamaican and the Caribbean people are eating the best food? And we can live for 500 years. And the Chinese and eat... Uh, what do you call it? Um food and live for 500 years that's a red flag well i only want to know that one anyway a good vibes all right then you know i mean put back a little piece of a fresh ginger and rosemary into it so you have to keep it nice but yeah look a bit of cloves drink this two times a day all right This is the honey right here, and this is one of the best. Esther Delicious, big up yourself. Check out Esther Delicious Healthy um, Garden Lifestyle. All right, Macu, how can I call it? Macumi Honey, Macu, Macua Honey, NG40 Plus. All right. Um, my grandmother lived until she was 108 year old. Wow. That is good. That is really good. My, own, my grandmother lived for about 90-something years. Uh, yesterday, she waked me up. Two days ago, she waked me up and said, Chef Ricardo, go and correct how to make the, the pickle pepper sauce because the people there knows them. Ricardo, can I give you, my 13-year-old son, this tea? If you're going to give him the tea, I think you're going to have to add a little bit more honey. Because, you know, the kids them nowadays, they were like, hey, mom, mom don't like that thing, man. What are you going to give me that, mom? No, ma'am. So probably you're going to have to add a little bit more of the honey and make it a little bit more sweet now, all right? Just put a little bit into a, like, a little glass like this and sweeten it up a little bit with the natural organic honey. Don't get the honey in the supermarket. It's beer red flag. They're full of beer sugar. All right, so you want to get the good honey, even this one, raw honey. This is raw honey. So raw honey, you don't see the sugar sit at the bottom. So if you go to the supermarket and you see honey, sometimes you see honey, it's stuck at the bottom for six months. It's telling you, do not buy me. Do not. When you go in the supermarket, guys, and you see things, you can look and you can see them. Enough time I go in the supermarket and I see them. Get the honey. Do not buy me. This is bay sugar. This is raw honey. 100% from the bees. All right. Yeah. So this one you can see. There is no sugar sit at the bottom of it. All right. And how you know it, it is raw honey? Look at this. All right. Look at this. So you know it is raw honey. Because it's going to drop off. You see that? So you know it is raw honey. The best. Mm. 
the one in the store be careful i don't buy the one in the store i used to buy it back in the days when i didn't know and dj what's going on man you've been missing the show one time i didn't know anything about healthy lifestyle and i learn as i goes on so i'll encourage you it's better for you to put an extra two pound and buy a good bottle of honey the one in the store is said do not buy me i will put you in trouble that's why he's saying to you be your sugar the sugar sickle at the bottom of it all the way around and when you look at the the um the the menu the ingredients it said sugar and that tell you all of this stuff them straight up on it it i tell you do not buy me but i am sugar and when you look at the sugar it said white sugar you know what i mean So this one, if you notice, there's no sugar at the bottom. This is 100% raw organic honey from the bees. All right. So please, guys. Yeah. It's best for you to put an extra two pound and get yourself one of these good honey. This is very good for cold and flu. All right. If you have cold or flu or if you're, you're sneezing and coughing. Now, it is coming up to summer. So you need to go to your local, local farmer and get this one. This is very good for like if you are suffering from a fever. A fever, this is good. Teaspoon of this in the morning. All right. So this is very, very good for you to use at home if you are a person who's suffering from a fever. Yeah. So please, guys. I used to do the same thing back in the days. I will went to this big expensive supermarket and buy a big bottle of honey. Think when I'm going, I'm using good stuff. When you check it, and it, when you check out the ingredients, you see? This does it tell you, you see? All right, 100%. Salt, not the inside of it. See, this is a very, very good, good honey. 100%. This one right here. All right. Yeah, man. This is the best you can also use. This is, this is um, a honey bean one for billions of years, man. Yeah. But just to give you a little bit of tips and ideas, guys. Just be careful when you go to the supermarket this Easter. All right. Because a lot of people want an Easter bun. God, they want to say they're going to treat yourself. The only thing I have problem with is unless when someone have um, sugar, like you're a diabetic person, you want to eat sweet stuff. I don't like that. I think if you're a diabetic person, you should try and get rid of your diabetic, not to put on more sugar upon what you are eating, upon what you have already. Avoid eating those things because you're just going to put yourself in a more danger you know what i mean it's best for you not just avoid it yes i would love to eat a piece of bun in easter but i have um, um i'm a diabetic person and then they're gonna say oh i'm just treating myself for this week it's, it's just only one time for the year no it's red flag you know what i mean straight red flag yeah if you're a diabetic person I, I, I tell you the honest truth. Do not eat any Easter bun this Christmas. Okay? If you're a diabetic person, tell yourself, I'm not going to be treating myself this Christmas. Leave it out. All right? What you should be doing this Christmas is, where it is? No, it's not Christmas, Easter. I'm talking about Christmas, Easter. Get yourself apple cider vinegar. One teaspoon in the morning and a cup of water. All right. Do you line the honey intake during the sugar? Uh, I don't understand what you mean right there, so sorry. This one is for my diabetic customers. If you have diabetic, you don't have to have diabetic to take this one, guys. You can also take this in the morning on an empty stomach if you are not diabetic, same way. This Easter, all of the people who love Easter bun and cheese, 
you need to do this one in Easter. One teaspoon of apple cider vinegar in a one cup of fat water in cold water and drink it every morning, starting as tomorrow morning. So if you don't have apple cider vinegar, you need to go to Alan Barrow and buy yourself a bottle of apple cider vinegar and take this every morning right back till the, 32, the 32nd at Easter. The 31st or the 32nd? I don't even remember. How much month in Easter? 32nd day in Easter. All right? So make sure you do this one. Get yourself a bottle of apple cider vinegar. And because a lot of people will be eating Easter bun and cheese. So yeah. Yo, you got a bottle? Good one. Yes. So as from tomorrow morning, every morning, one teaspoon into a cup of water and drink it. You can also drink it before you go to your bed. It helps to regulate that sugar in your body when you're eating during the day. Because a lot of people, when they don't understand, when you're at work, and if you're not eating vegetables, alkaline vegetables, you may eat fruits, you're still putting sugar, but it's natural sugar. You understand? So that's why me drink up a lot of apple cider vinegar every day, a teaspoon, because it helps to control your blood sugar in your body during the day. All right, that's me. You don't come become a diabetic person like millions of other people. So I'm putting you on your guard. So over this Easter, millions of people will be eating crust bun from Moses or from this expensive shop M and S. So make sure when you go, you buy this first. All right, and you take it first because it's important. A lot of people will be eating fry fish this Easter. So fry fish. When you're frying it in um in um like vegetable oil, you're getting cholesterol. You understand? So what you want to do, take a teaspoon of this because you know what I mean you may not a diabetic person, but take a teaspoon, it helps to control your cholesterol and your blood sugar at home. It will help you guys. I've been doing this for years, no problem. The only thing I see, I'm getting better and better. All right. That's the message from Chef Ricardo today to you guys. I wish you all the best and, and a peaceful evening and a peaceful life and a peaceful day, and a peaceful night's sleep and everything. Remember to get yourself a copy of the book From Poverty to Purpose. Chef Ricardo's secret recipe to success is coming up to Easter. Blood sugar is by insulation. And if you have a diabetic, you need to balance your sugar. Yeah, and yeah, that's what that's all you have to do. Balance the sugar and be careful what you're eating because it's what you're eating is causing. Christina, here's the same. Big up on yourself. Beautiful people over there, all over there in Australia. Christy Williams, big up yourself all over there in Australia. Sorry, in, in, in England. Big up on yourself. Beautiful people. Yeah, the, the sugar, if you eat rice, it turns into sugar. If you eat bread, it turns into sugar. There's a lot of things going on. So that's why it's good to take a teaspoon of the apple cider vinegar in the morning. Anyway, tomorrow night, it is high blood pressure night. And if you don't get this thing right, guys, I'm making a letter to know that tomorrow night, again, as I repeat, it's going to be high blood pressure tea night. Please join me for free. Because remember, I can't take no money from you guys. And I'm not charging you no money to join me for free. It is for your own benefit that you don't have to join the queue in London Road and you don't have to see the doctor. You can have high blood pressure, but you don't know. It can be stress, it can be cause work, it can be cause of family life, because of driving in the traffic. Many things. So we are invited tomorrow night. And at 11 o'clock or 12 o'clock, we will be doing high blood pressure tea. Use what you have at home when it comes to garlic, organic white onion, or your organic red onion. Get yourself some ginger and bits and pieces. You also use, um, you can use marenge. If you can get um, hibiscus tea, it's also good. Green tea is also good. So please join me for free. We're only encouraging you to look after yourself. Nothing else. We are not charging you. We are not 
you don't have to join a queue you don't have to um book a ticket you don't have to pay for a ticket you don't have to wake up and to catch the train or to catch the plane to fly for go somewhere to come and see chef ricardo sit right where you are at this minute and watch me for free tomorrow night so if you are interested of looking after yourself catch me tomorrow night at 11 o'clock or 12 o'clock have a peaceful evening and a blessed evening and whatever you do put jesus christ first in your life you never go around love and all and i'll see you the next time man bye bye for now from chef ricardo